Yo, 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 yo. What's up, what's up, what's up? Na, 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 na. Gonna do a TVP of Buell and Freya. Going to be Freya on the Protoss, Buell on the Terran. Make sure my volume is good. It's been a little bit... I think it's been a little bit loud. Um... But anyways, so I'm gonna do just one game, and then I'm gonna try to do a a low money cast of Flash. So get into uh, I got a couple TVTs. Just want to see. It looks like he played some guy who's really really good, and he played the guy that's currently third place, and Flash is currently second place on ladder, and the person that's in first place is a hacker. So. I mean, Flash is technically first, or he is first. So, we are going to see a mech build from Buell, which is always, always interesting. I think he should go for this more often. Love seeing a little mech build. We're going to see a Nexus from Freo. And I was watching another caster, and they turn off the clicking, I think. But, I don't know, some of you guys like the clicking. Some of you guys don't. I feel like sometimes I click too much, depending on if I have too much caffeine. So. I don't know. Give and take. So, hope you guys are doing good. Hope you guys are having a nice. This is probably going to get posted on Tuesday, but I'm casting on Monday. We're going to see Double Factory. Going to scout the middle for a mid build. <coughs> We're gonna scout left middle and looks like Freya. I wonder if he scouts like this because a scout would be coming out here, so he most likely knows that there's not no scout. And this guy going to go the right way. Unless he just stops at the choke. And yeah, he's gonna scout here, gonna just miss this marine. Here's your SCV. And we'll see if he pulls this. I don't think he saw that probe. Unless somehow he did? I don't know. But maybe he's just trying to control this guy. We go into a triple factory. Which is, you usually see that. And two verse two and three verse three or two verse two three verse three and sometimes one verse one. Gonna try to get the pylon right here. Just gonna have to put this SCV in hold position. Gonna kill that probe dobe nicely. There's your zealot right here. We got two zealots up here. We'll see. He's gonna want to get some cannons unless he's got dragoons on the way. He is gonna go with dragoons. He's got range. Two dragoons. So we got two vultures gonna get pushed back. Here's your Zod. Good micro from both parts gonna get two kills out of that, so nicely done. We'll see if maybe Buell tries to run these guys by. He's got mines on the way. I just I've been losing my connection a lot lately. It's been it's so on and off. Looks like we're gonna see a command center come down. And he's not going to get Siege, but he's going to get double tank. So he's got three Vultures. Four Vultures, two Marines, two Tanks. And we'll see if he gets a little bit aggressive here. We got four Gateways. Robotics. Cannon back at home, just in case there are some Vultures that run into his base. He's going to spread these guys out. I love watching just Freya. I mean, both these guys are just so much fun to watch. I'm going to see those Dragoons. He's trying to sneak in here. And... Going to try to lay some mines. Going to try to cut these guys off. <coughs> going to take out. Nice micro from Freya. There's your mines coming down. So he is trapped until he gets that Observer. 
See if maybe it goes into another Nexus or... I don't think he will because he knows he could be up against a lot of pressure. I think he should go for that Citadel. Did he get that already? I would like to see a Citadel just so he can get DTs as well as speed. We got four tanks right here. Command Center, we'll see if he goes right into that comp set. Taking out his mines right here. So let's see, Siege is getting there. I'm gonna lay a mine right here. This is gonna be very, very interesting. 29 SCVs, 31 SCVs, 38 probes. And getting these guys all in place. I think you might, it's a lot of Dragoons right here though. And I just learned that four Dragoons and you can one shot a tank. That's instantly gonna go down. I'm gonna start laying some more mines. Comes your Zot gonna drop. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Oof, that was so close. Got the observer right here. Tanks are trying to take these guys out. Some mines right here. Oh. Got the one tank left trying to run these guys through. Got a couple marines. Gonna lay some mines right here. This is gonna be walled off. And Bria 78 supply. Gonna bring that observer over, I'm sure. And take out these mines. I was actually just gonna build a cannon right here, which is a pretty smart move. We'll see if there's a starport. No starport on the way. He's got three SCVs just chilling here, so. And he's got two extra command centers, so doing a pretty good job. Here's your Reaver. Unfortunately, Buell is in a middle spot. And I'm gonna take this out right here. Turret coming down. I'm gonna wall this off. Been seeing um, Brain do this if he doesn't do good on his mech build, he'll just wall this off completely. Comes your drop. Turrets here, but. Ooh, that's gonna take some hits. Pull these guys back. Let's see where is Zealot speed at? Almost done. Supply 132. And it's mostly. SCVs for Buell right now, so this is gonna be tough to to stop. Here comes your drop. It's gonna get spotted out. He's got a couple Goliaths right here. Gonna bring these dragoons over, start attacking these turrets. Pull those guys back. 155 supply to 103. I'm guessing he's going to be close to one on this upgrade. Yeah, just about done. Should maybe get a couple more depots up here. He's got some Goliaths down here. And we're going to start seeing some Templar drops. And Freya starting to build up his base. I mean, these guys are really, really even. Gonna lift this up. Oof, as soon as these guys are out here. So he's gotta be careful. And he might have to bring a couple more tanks over here. We're gonna see attack, and we're gonna see a double drop. We got a Reaver, Zealots. Gonna have to put everything up here. No drop, no Templar drop. Reaver and busting through the front. 126 supply. That one upgrade is done, but this is just way too many units, I feel like. 
Yeah, just easily gonna bulldoze through here. Here comes your Templar drop. That's gonna be your game. That was a really, really nice storm right there. I'll do one more game. I mean, that was a good one, but yeah, Freya really, really dominated that game. Yeah, this is so frustrating. Gotta reconnect. I don't know if it's so it's trying to connect so give it a second I don't know if it's when I use my TV I only use this computer for casting it's not like I use this thing for porn um, all right, so we'll get into game number two. Gonna be Protoss versus Protoss. So Buell gonna be in a pretty tough spot right here, middle spot, and a good spot for Freya because. Just easily go here and here. So I will be interested to see how they play this. Are they both going to go for the Nexus first? Looks like it. If you guys like my channel, subscribe. Give the video a like. Gonna go into two gateway forge versus the three gateway and probably a cyber. So that's usually I've been seeing Buell go for that. This probe looks like it's gonna win. Here's your cyber. And cyber right here. Here's your cannon. And Buell will be able to I wonder if he canceled one of these zealots. He knows he's got the cannon and he can just send this one zealot in to be annoying. Because there's not going to be a cannon for Freya. So just the one gas right now. We got double. Here's your scout right here. Double gas for Buell. Here's your second gas coming down. And is he going to go into a citadel or has he got three dragoons that he's going to make? Comes your zealot. This guy took a few hits already. I'm gonna go straight into the robotics. There's your forge coming down. It's one probe. And he's sending in another zealot, so buying himself a little bit of time. Here's your quick, quick upgrade. This is the. He's gonna have to get maybe two more gateways. This is the China type of build. This guy's sneaking in here. This guy's sneaking up here. Probably going to put that cannon down really quickly. There it is. And got speed on the way. Probably put down maybe two more gateways. Get another probe. Make him pull some of these guys. So he's slowing them down a little bit. Supply 40. Basically the same. Same amount of probes. Here's your citadel. We'll see which build order is better. Two more gateways. Robotics. 
And looks like Free is going to be a little bit aggressive here. Going to build a pylon up here, maybe right here. Right here. Two more gateways. We have Observatory and Support Bay. Pretty good timing. Yeah, not completely sure whose build order is better. So 74. I mean, they got the same supply. Got probably a Reaver. Zealot speed is done. And that upgrade should be finishing up somewhat soon. Speed Zealots really, really just dominate non-Speed Zealots. I almost feel like they attack faster. They're able to... Just get those hits in a little bit quicker. And here comes your Reaver drop. You got a couple of Dragoons right here. And he's going to spot this out. Reaver's going to drop, pulling the probes nicely. And very, very nicely done by Buell. So I think Buell's in the lead right now. Now we're going to see a Reaver. Sometimes they get the Observer first. And then the Reaver. But he's going to get his Reaver right now. That upgrade's done. We'll see if he starts that second upgrade. There it is. Observer coming out. We got seven gateways for Freya. And seven gateways for Buell. So, I do think that Buell <coughs> is in the lead right now. Four more gateways getting made, though. Get that cannon up here. Don't want to have a Reaver get stuck up there and kill a bunch of your probes. Good job getting the observers on the side. A couple more gateways coming down. Your Templar Archives. Fake drop, possibly. Got a Zealot coming over here. I'd like to see a couple DTs get made. Supply 114, 110. Gonna go with the attack. Both of them have the same upgrades. There's your Observer. Got the Reaver, and this is where he's gonna drop it, fake it. Oh, nice little fake, and he's gonna maybe lose his Reaver right here. That little move right there, really, really. The Reaver didn't go down, but he got the shuttle. That little move right there ended up killing that shuttle. Wants to save this Reaver, kill that Dragoon, but that Reaver is gonna go down. That Buell can. Get a, a Templar drop to just go right here and then right down the middle. You will be in really, really good shape. There's your Templars getting made. There's a couple more gateways. Reaver doing some work. He's probably going to try to attack it first. Let's take it out. Might be at 101. They should be finishing up. Some DTs are going to save the day. And we got a drop right here. Templar drop. I don't see any. Oof. Drop that pretty far. Don't forget to get Storm. Drop that way too far. Here's your DTs. And no Observer over here. So where's that Observer at? I know he built one. Let's see if that upgrade finished. It should be finishing up. Here's your observer. Let's see what the upgrades are. Zero, zero, 001. Comes a drop from Buell. Two Templars. These guys might not have the energy though. They're pretty quick. Okay. Let's get the double storm. 57, 56, 54 probes. So pretty good dodge right there. DT's in here. And bring some dragoons back because he doesn't want to get dropped again 
Three years money is not too bad though. There's your observer coming in. It's just a matter of who can get the drop off. Getting that next upgrade. Another forge, another cannon. Drop sneaking in. It's a reaver though. Gonna drop. This is probably not gonna land. Got one probe, I think. Not worth it. And this is where sometimes these players forget to go for a drop while your opponent is going for a drop on you. You see Brain do that all the time. And this would be a good storm right here. Down to 60, 15 probes. That could be your game right there. Bringing this all the way around. One Templar in there. Here's your DT. Try to clear a path. See if he goes for maybe a double drop. Getting two upgrades. DT coming on in. Gonna go right after this. Here comes your drop. Drops the Zealot, pulling the probes, making them lose some mining time. I'm gonna leave this guy right here. I wonder if he can see, no. Too tough to see that observer right there. He's gonna have a pretty big drop though. They're gonna go for the attack and then go for this massive drop, so. 178 to 161, so a lot more units for Freya. I really don't know who's going to win this one. He's going to go in with this drop, maybe fake it, drop the Zealot, and then go in with the real drop. Trying to snipe. Drops the Reaver. Is there a Templar left? There's not. This guy might make it in. Oh, there is a Templar. Down to 37 probes. Nicely done by Freya. This guy got the storm off. Looks like he's going to pull these guys back. 101 on his upgrades. Now he has to worry about getting dropped himself. Here is a shuttle. I mean, these guys are just so even. Three robotics, though, for Freya. I think that's huge. Here comes a nice big drop. Three Templars in here. The snipe on the right one. Oh, so fortunate for Freya. That's the one thing I like about PvP, but I don't really like. It's just, I mean, sometimes if you get a really lucky drop, you can win a PvP. A lucky snipe out like that. Takes out that DT. And now they're getting closer to being even. I'm gonna pull these Dragoons back. Is he gonna come in time? Templar. Ooh, just gonna miss. If I had to bet, I'd say that Buell's gonna win this one just because he's got a lot more supply. He's gonna be able to go for the attack, stop a lot of these drops. His upgrades are a little bit better. And yeah, he's gonna have his own drop. He might even have 202. Let's see how close this is. Yeah, it's very close. Let's see what Freya's got. 101. Yeah, 202 is going to be massive. Observer on observer action. We'll see who sees this first. Usually, Buell's pretty good at taking that out. Doesn't see it. Going to move the observer back. Here comes a drop over here. A couple cannons coming down. Now it's Buell's time to go for the attack. Good upgrades. He's got a massive drop coming as well. No way all three of these get sniped. Let's see what's in here. Four Templars. Two Templars. Total of six. Send these guys in. Ooh, we'll see if he storms this. Moving the probes a little bit. Oh, this will be bad. Storm. There's got to be one more coming. This guy. This guy. Storm down here. 
He's got this one coming around town. SpongeBob style. 202. This one might sneak in here. Reaver. Coming in. Pulling the probes. Did he mind controls this? I guess he's not. Trying to get this guy in. Dropping the reaver. Look at that micro. This might hit right here. Nope. And a bunch of dragoons right here. Storm coming down. And 148, 150. He'll slowly picking it up. He's got to have a drop coming soon. There it is. Four Templars. Let's sneak this in. Storm. Storm. Nice. On the 19 probes. Another good storm. And there is the GG McGee. So, I mean, of the games I've casted of Buell and Freya, it seems like Buell is just a little bit better. But... I do think that Freya may play Brain better. Um, I just in the I know he went one and four in those games. He played really, really good. So, anyways, good games right there. Give it a like, subscribe, and I'll take this there. Peace, you know what to be.